Let's do some cases with simple pattern analysis. What is simple pattern analysis? Well, it's chaos and close. What is chaos? Chaos is asymmetry of pattern or asymmetry of color. If chaos is present, then we look for clues. And if we find one clue to melanoma in a chaotic lesion, we excise the lesion to exclude the possibility of melanoma. Let's look at some examples. Clinically, close-up, dermatoscopy, there is no chaos. It's one pattern, reticular, it's one color, brown, and we do not even look for clues. We are not interested in clues. The diagnosis is a nevus. Here is a similar lesion, clinically, dermatoscopic, comes soon. Here is the dermatoscopy, and what you can see, it's, it is a chaotic lesion, and there are multiple colors and multiple patterns, dots and reticular lines, and now we look for clues. Well, there is a clue. There are thick reticular lines, which means the lines are thicker than the spaces in between. There are also some black dots at the periphery. So we have chaos and clues. The diagnosis is melanoma. Now the lesion clinically, close up. It's a flat, small, oval brown lesion. Dermatoscopy, no chaos. One pattern, reticular lines, practically one color. We do not even look for clues. It's a nevus, it's benign. Another lesion, clinically, a close-up, again a small, flat lesion. Dermatoscopy now is completely different. It's chaotic. It's chaotic in terms of patterns and it's chaotic in terms of colors. And is there a clue to melanoma? Yes, there is. There are gray lines, gray clots, and gray dots. Every gray and blue structure is a clue to melanoma. So this is a chaotic lesion with a clue to melanoma, gray structures, the diagnosis is melanoma. It's easy. Another lesion clinically, multiple lesions. This is a close-up, flat lesion. Dermatoscopy, again, it's chaotic in terms of colors. What do we see? Reticular lines, but again, also gray dots, gray lines, and gray clots. Clue to melanoma, therefore, the diagnosis is melanoma. Here is a close-up. You see the gray structures, clue to melanoma. Gray structures are the weakest clue, but it should, be, uh, it should be included into the clues of melanomas because it's important, especially in melanomas in situ. Now, here is a lesion clinically, dermatoscopically, one pattern, brown clots, no chaos. There is one clue, a white dot here. This is a clue to a congenital nevus. The diagnosis is small congenital nevus. Clinically, dermatoscopy, no chaos. One pattern, one color. The pattern is reticular, the color is brown, no clues. What is the diagnosis? Correct, it's a nevus. It also works for small lesions. Clinically, dermatoscopy, there is symmetry, although sometimes in small lesions we see symmetry even in malignant lesions. And in small lesions, clues become more important. But here we can see symmetry and no clues. So this is the typical pattern of a Clark's nevus, central hyperpigmentation. Another lesion clinically, close up. Again, symmetry, central hyperpigmentation, central structuralis, two patterns, reticular and structuralis combined symmetrically. It's not chaotic. This lesion is small, clinically, and dermatoscopy, you'll see it's chaotic in terms of colors, but also chaotic in terms of patterns. We can see clots and lines and even some pseudopods. But there are clues to melanoma, which are here, the gray clots, and this is a melanoma, a very small one, melanoma in situ. Another small lesion clinically, close up, dermatoscopy, dermatoscopy. It's chaotic in terms of colors, eccentric hyperpigmentation. And there is a clue to melanoma, not only one, there, are more, there is more than one clue, but the most obvious clue is here. Reticular lines, most of them are thick, thicker than the spaces in between. This is a clue to melanoma. There is another clue. Black dots at the periphery is also a clue to melanoma. The diagnosis is melanoma. Chaos and clues is a simple method for the beginner to diagnose melanomas.